welcome to this victorious daily devotion in the most omnipotent and victorious name of Jesus Christ. Today's topic, greatest asset in life, is it bank balance? Is it wealth and property? Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flows the springs of life. Well, our greatest asset in life is not wealth, not property, and not bank balance, but our relationship with others. A person who has good relationship has pocketed greatest asset. When our conduct is good, when our intentions are good, when our heart is clean, pure and good and not deceitful, we have true, lasting and blessed relationship. With good relationship, I understand, we can achieve several things in life. Firstly, we will win several hearts. Winning hearts by a good relationship is the best thing any human being should aspire for. Even if we see in the highest position, IAS, IRS and IPS ranks, during final interview, as we all know, they not only see the competence of the person, but equally they check on his or her past ethical relationship and their conduct. In the society. Well, it may not be possible to have good relationship with everyone. Wherever we go, we find two, three toxic people. We need to ignore such toxic people and not waste our time. But majority should like us. That's a sign of good relationship I am talking about. Much research has been done and concluded saying people with good relationship they are much more happier, healthier, richer and stronger than others and they have long life too. People with good relationship are liked by everyone, the higher officers and even the subordinates. I have come across several such incidences in my profession. When a good senior officer uh, has resigned, he had good and cordial relationship with everyone he touched the very hearts by his conduct and when he resigned from the post because of better prospects, I observed not only superiors but even the lower staff and the subordinates and all the staff and employees felt a great loss of losing him because he not only brought comfort and cheer to them but he encouraged them and strengthened them. Another senior officer also resigned after some time. The same employees did not vent out any emotions whatsoever this time. They did not even show crocodile tears. Why? Because he has hurt several people. He made every effort to bring others down. He never liked others to come up or outgrow him. He was arrogant and selfish. Many thought, it's good that he left as he harmed several staff and officers too. Well, people who are emotionally stronger, they come out stronger than others. But people who are emotionally weak, they fight, they distort, they argue, they become jealous. In relationship, again, there are several types. There are people we all must have come up at some point of life. These people take help at the time of their need. But when we need help, they will leave us high and dry. They will betray us and stab us. This is part of life. When it comes to Christian living and witness, there are millions of people all around, all around the globe doing God's divine work. Amen for that. But unfortunately, very few maintain good relationships. Such group is unselfish and truly serve the Lord. Without relationship, no church, no ministry can be fruitful. Without proper relationship, no person can be fruitful or successful in his or her work. Our works will not be weighed, but our deeds, good deeds and proper conduct and testimony and witness is very much weighed and observed. 
to have yes lord to have a true and lasting relationship help us to be like salt useful in many ways and to many people whom we come across in our day to day lives in jesus name we pray amen